Hello guys, my name is Sparkfinger and this is going to be a very quick video, a tiny bit of an addendum to my world info tutorial. It's going to be beneficial for both novel AI as well as AI dungeon. So basically after watching my world info tutorial, many people, that literally dozens of people keep asking me why they are not successful and there is almost always one simple problem. They are not using their keywords correctly. For example, this is a new story that I'm playing, let's take a look at one of the pre-created stories and figure out exactly what keywords are in author, in memory, in in lore book and world info. We'll go back to AI Dungeon as well. Right here, here's stuff that I put. And those are initial items, plate armor. As you can see here, your armor, your clothes and your plate. Anything that, anytime those words get triggered in, in the game itself, in the text, the, this part of the world info gets put into context. So, so the game will remember exactly what you're wearing. Wearing a set of plate armor, your armor offers you great protection. If any of these words are not going to get triggered, this part of world info is not going to get put in there. Okay, let's take a look here. Here's a very complex one. Concepts currency. Currency used in chromos is gold coins. Cheap items like rope and oil only cost a few coins. Pieces of clothing tend to co cost ten tens of coins, and jewelry usually costs hundreds of gold coins. Yeah, the author of this particular scenario preferred it to be very immersive, so anything that triggers coins, anytime the coins or money are present, as we can see here, gold, coin, money, price, worth, treasure, reward, cost, shop, buy, sell, trade, market, merchant, silver, anytime this gets triggered in the story, all of this very important world, world building info gets triggered. It, it gets put into context. AI, the AI itself knows what to generate. So it remembers that, let's say, a rope doesn't cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, only costs tens of gold coins and usually costs hundreds rather than a couple gold coins. Although if the coins were actually made of gold, then it wouldn't cost the hundreds of gold coins. Yeah, here, as you can see, a character is Bolt, big horse named Bolt, loyal steed, can ride it with his, not much. Basically, you have a horse named Bolt, you can put can replace this world info entry with just one simple sentence in, in your remember tab here as we can see bolt horse steed stallion bolt is kind of a name more fitting for a dog i guess but it doesn't matter anytime anything like this gets mentioned all the info about your horse gets put into story but of course it doesn't mean that every time this gets triggered the ai is going to assume everything correctly it might this might get triggered and it might turn out that this horse belongs to someone else this is basically something we just have to live with, whether a novel AI or AI dungeon. So if this ever happens, if this becomes unimmersive, you may consider retrying this or changing this particular keywords or, or just ignoring this and re-editing it yourself. Let's take a look at AI dungeon right here. Here's uh, my main story that I play for a long time, thousands of actions. And I started it a long time in the world of Xaxxas. Let's see here. Edit adventure. No, wait. No, it's not here. No, right. No, wait, I'm right. This is it. World info. Here are some characters, different custom emotes. I mean, custom world info entries. You can see those are random things. Here are the active world info entries. As we can see, let's scroll down. For example, let's take a look here. Calixtus, King, King of Erlenia, King of Yurek. As you can see, those are four different keywords that I put in here. Yes, my, Calixtus is based off my other character from Mountain Blade World Band. Yeah, a great mod. Prophecy of Pandor. And he was my character that I finally managed to conquer Pandor. So he's the king in this story as well. An another alternative, as you can see here, is as much as four different world info entries. Calixtus, his name, king, his title, king of what? King of Orlania, the country, king of Yurek. Yurek is also a city. So he's a king and sort of a mayor. As you can see here, it's very important that those keywords are not just connected in text, but if you really want this character to be present, you will put him here, right here in your remember tab. Very important. Calixtus is his name. This is a keyword, King of Orlania and Yurek. Those are also keywords. King, King of Orlania, King of Yurek. Those are keywords. So it just so happens that King it's himself is always present in here in my story. Or you can remove him from remember tab so he would be less present because he keeps popping up in my story. The characters that I don't want to, want to keep popping up, I remove them from remember tab. For example, right here, Lucy. You know, Lucy in my story is a, a curious little observation, a bit of tangent, but also very interesting. Lucy in my story is supposed to be an adult woman. The main character's adult daughter. 
it almost almost 30 years old but because in training material for AI dungeon Lucy was remembered as um as a as a child as a teenager sometimes it leads to Lucy stopping my story because the filter assumes that something is happening with Lucy in my story Lucy is marked as a, an adult lady but in the training material she is marked as a child so whenever there is let's say inappropriate stuff sometimes just inappropriate jokes the filter gets triggered and and because of that the story might stop you might get kicked out of the game temporarily no way that's settings or you might get suspended if you do it too many times or you, or you might get yellow text when when the AI doesn't know what to do let's take a look here Lucy I just search here for her she was a random character who appeared she in one of my adventures she didn't have a family so I created her a character you can see here metal silly kind caring motion 45 years old but of course these might get hidden in the in the heaps of context and thus and thus it might not always remember that she's 25 years old but also I speculate that the training material takes priority so you cannot completely make Lucy into an adult person if ever this ever happens you might consider changing her name into Luciana or yeah more Luciana is something different something that doesn't correlate not the same name it can't be mistaken for the same name because Lucy is sort of a predetermined character and you cannot really change her with if you add a character so yeah by the way here we can add different keywords they're not as important if you keep them in the remember tab but you let's say adopted daughter adopted daughter your your daughter the main characters and Talia by the way Talia is also a prominent character I'm not sure who she was based on but she always reminds me of Talia Al Ghul because she's sort of an evil powerful character in this story she's the waifu so we can put another keyword Talia wife let's say your wife anytime someone mentions anyone's wife this gets put in info about Talia anytime someone mentions your wife this gets put in here and let's take a look those are keywords very important keywords and that's how the remember tab gets connected to the world info and another very important thing that I have a point that I have to hammer in it might not always trigger the exactly the same way you expect for me it works perfectly because I'm I'm just simply used to it and if something goes off the rails I'm going to simply fix it very quickly with the story mode and right here as you can see an elf wife tally initially she was an elf but yeah after a lot of time we just forget about it doesn't matter elf human doesn't matter an elf waifu yes my character has an elf waifu in my main story an elf wife who is currently pregnant yeah all right so there you go I explained to you what keys are and when you are creating a world info you have to make sure that they are diverse enough like let's take a look here he is a very good example of a very diverse no not this this very diverse world info entry right here currency and there's a lot of different keywords that will trigger this piece of information gold coin money price worth treasure anything related to it so yeah if you let's say want to create a friend you may add your friend's name like Nils your friend your acquaintance and and let's say he's also also happens to be your assistant you can put it in your assistant and also make sure to put it in the remember tab Nils is your friend your acquaintance and your assistants and he also help you do this and this during your last adventure if you want this to remember so yeah this was a little addendum to my world info tutorial hope this helped you it probably helped even the experienced players just to remind us how it all works because you know I enjoy my time playing novel AI in the AI dungeon as you can see here I started a new story that is a bit more akin to the stories that we have in AI dungeon it's quite immersive I have to say I keep changing playing around with different settings right now I st stopped on those those are more consistent randomness low doesn't matter maximum output length tab key sampling disabled nucleus disabled and tail free sampling they are set at 0 0.9 but not not lower those those are three three very main advanced options they are those if tab key sampling is disabled nucleus disabling they are less random and more consistent it's tail free it's more consistent less random and yeah this you may want to play around with this this just changes the amount of repetition that happens either repeating words or repeating scenarios and yeah right now I'm even more in love with novel AI it's simply much better it's a different thing from AI dungeon but it really fills the niche for me and I spend more and more time playing with novel AI so yeah it's been Sparfinger see you next time hope you enjoyed my tutorial please subscribe like and share the video and everything else <laughs> so yeah guys bye for now see you next time